in the middle of a losing streak, uh, how healthy does this uh, ultra break fit for the Celtics? Why say that again? Yes. Being in the middle of a losing streak for mm -hmm. the Celtics, how healthy is to have this uh, ultra break for the team? Well, you know, we're trying to get healthy, you know, even though we've been losing games, we've missed a lot of players over the last uh, week or so, uh, key players also. So uh, hopefully this break uh, can cure some of those injuries so we can come back second half with some some uh, healthy bodies and, and try to make a run the second half. Do you oh, think position this, five uh, is, has been the, the most inconsistent for the Celtics this year? Do you think the position five center position is, has been the most inconsistent for the Celtics this season? Uh, I'm not sure what position you know has been most inconsistent. You know we uh, we've dealt with a number of injuries at pretty much every position. You know, include myself. Paul, you look at uh, the lockout in '99 and this one coming, start, <coughs> the, the level of play and how things are looking. How are the two different? Well, I think the biggest difference is uh, the number of injuries coming out of coming out of this one. You know, you didn't see as many big names and key players get as injured in 99 when it was doing my rookie year, uh, as you see uh, in this year. So maybe it's due to the, you know, I mean, I know it's probably due to the scheduling and the lack of practice time and guys probably not being in the best shape going into the season. So, uh, you know, both, in, in both cases, you have a lot of games that's been crammed together. So it's been really hard on a lot of players' bodies. Paul, this, this weekend is about the show. It's about the flash kind of, if you had to pay Admission to see one player in the league. Who would you pay to see and why? Um, you know, I'm a real big fan of Manu Ginobili. You know, I like you know some of the things he's able to do out there. Uh, real crafty. Uh, you know, he's, he's just very fundamentally sound. And, you know, he gets the job done. Right? He's a champion. You know, he's one of my favorite players to watch. I'll let you Orlando a little bit as the host city. Your impressions of the town. I mean, you've been down here a couple times throughout your career. Sure. It's a great city. You know, a lot of things to do with family. A lot of good restaurants. Uh, a lot of entertainment, you know, I'm a big bowling fan, hopefully I can get out and get some bowling in. So, uh, you know, especially uh, right in the area we're in, there's a lot of things to do. So, I'm going to enjoy these next few days.